Hello, fire starters. Coach Shy here with your word of the week. This is your Monday motivation. I'm getting it out a little bit late today, but that's okay. It's still Monday, and you can listen to this thing all week long because I promise you this one will apply for any time. Now, on this day in particular, it is Valentine's Day, so I thought this was more than appropriate. This word of the week is not really a word at all. It's more of an acronym, and the word is FOMO. FOMO. F-O-M-O, FOMO, stands for fear of missing out. The actual definition is anxiety that an exciting or interesting event may currently be happening elsewhere, often aroused by posts seen on social media. So social media is, let's just face it, it's the devil, right? It's, it's something that we all wrestle with, managing how much time we spend here. You're probably on social media watching this right now. So everything's got a give and go, a tug of war, right? Where things that you have to manage and maintain a proper balance if you're gonna live any type of fruitful life. But FOMO is when you find yourself scrolling through social media, looking at what everyone else is doing. And if you've ever had this question ever once, what am I doing with my life? That is FOMO. It's the fear of missing out. It's the fear that, you know, you're not doing enough or you're not making enough or what, you know, what kind of relationship do I have? Why am I not in a relationship? And Valentine's Day of all days is the day when everyone is celebrating. Oh, look what my boo bought me. Oh my goodness. We're here. We're, we're, um, toasting it up, we're having our fabulous dinner here, or we're traveling off to such and such place, or we're cozied up in a mountain cabin, whatever, right? So uh, Valentine's Day is a perfect time for people to just kind of be scrolling through social media and wondering, what am I doing with my life? I'm afraid that I'm missing out on the good stuff. And you know what? It's perfectly normal. Coach Susan Hyatt says, let envy be your guide that um, envy is actually admiration that's been hijacked by our ego. So if you're scrolling on other people's pages and you're looking through social media and you're finding things that are appealing to you or you're finding things that you know you wish you had, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's when you start looking at what other people have or what other people are doing and then looking back at yourself and finding yourself lacking or finding yourself as feeling not enough or not worthy that it becomes problematic, okay? FOMO is the stuff that many a midlife crisis was born of, okay? So it's all about balance. It's all about keeping these things in check and really holding the right perspective. As we've shared previously, I think it was in the capacity lesson, it's first about celebrating the deservingness of others, right? So not falling into a place of shade or haterade, but actually celebrating. You know, if, if you're single and people are celebrating Valentine's Day today, celebrate for them. Yours is coming. You know, if, if um, you're not in the job that you want right now, or you're not at the place in your life where you want to be right now, celebrate the people who are, because that gratitude leaves you open to um, God bringing the good into your own life. So the first thing is, what do you have right now that you can celebrate, that you can be grateful for? There is always, always, always something to be thankful for in every circumstance, in every situation, even if it's just the breath coming in and out of your lungs right now. Okay, so what do you have? The second is, what do you want? What do you want? Not what you're looking at other people and 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 feeling like, you know, I only want this because they have it or because I don't have it, but taking a really honest, hard look at your life and asking yourself, what do I want? There's a story in uh, the book of Genesis, very famous story, of course, with Adam and Eve and, and the serpent who tempts Eve, who says, Are you sure God told you not to eat from that tree? You know, he's really holding out on you. He knew that if you ate from that tree, it would make you wise like him. And what's Eve do? Uh, FOMO, fear of missing out. You know, she's afraid, you know, God's holding out on her. I, well, I, I need to eat from this tree because then it's going to make me whatever. I call that fix me fruit. That also could have been our word of the day or our phrase of the week. Uh, fix me fruit. And it's a trap, you know. 
It's really about understanding truly what you want outside of any outside influence that may ultimately drive that decision in a direction that you don't really want to go or that's not really God's intended purpose for you. And the last thing is, what will you do? Okay, so again, sitting around fantasizing about things or or kind of mulling over what other people have that you don't have is really not time well spent. Not saying that visioning is not great or dreaming is not a good thing. Those are great things. But at some point, action is going to be required of you. So if you really identify the things that you want for your life, now what will you do? What steps will you take to make those things a reality? When you find that you start to turn that focus back inward, when you start to focus on the things that you can control, when you stop eyeing everyone else and what everyone else is doing, other than to say, hey, good job, so happy for you, but I got my own thing going on over here, you'd be amazed at how much your world will open up. You'd be amazed at how much happier you'll feel and how much more joy and contentment you'll invite into your life. So our word of the week, our acronym of the week is FOMO, the fear of missing out. But don't let that be you. Pause and ask, what do I have right now that I can celebrate? What do I want truly for me? And what will I do? I'm Coach Shai. That's your word of the week. We'll see you next week. Have a great Monday.